Right, so uh, I want to talk about how you would draw a Bezier curve using Python. So um, just to start off with the basics, what is Bezier curve? Uh, if you have used Photoshop before, you most likely have seen Bezier curves before. It is the way you, you the way you draw the pen, pen tools, and it's a very natural way to draw the curves on the computer using only a few control points. So it was a really good match for for uh, the Photoshop in particular. But then I want to talk about how to draw this in Python programmatically. In my case, I just had to use this to draw like a, a few pants pattern, but that's a long story. Um, and so, and then uh, there are many dedicated packages to do Bezier curve. But today, I want to talk about how you would do it using uh, do it in using SciPy. So SciPy is a sci scientific scientific computing tool in Python. It is uh, has been along around for a while. It is very widely used, and you definitely should use it if, if you have a chance. And uh, yeah, so. The problem is how do we use it to calculate a basic curve, and it does have a, a utility to calculate that, and <coughs> uh, it's called um, SciPy to interpolate import B poly. So it, if there's anything, any takeaway, it's basically that uh, B poly is what you would use to to uh, draw a basic curve. But uh, if if you are like, are like me, my first reaction was, what the heck is th that name? So it's an interpolate. Interpolate kind of makes sense, but why is it called B poly? So it took me a while to actually make sense of that, and which is why I want to talk about it today, about how I made sense of it. So uh, first of all, um, what what does interpolate mean? So in general, interpolate is the way that we connect the dot. It is how we uh, fill in the the blank between the data points we have, and naive the a naive way to do that would be a linear interpolation by just connecting the dots with straight lines. It's janky. It's not very pretty, and so uh, Bezier is actually a way to interpolate the control points. Um, by by using by using techniques that interpolate them, we kind of glide across the points smoothly, and then we start we start with the first point, we end with the last point, and the other control points kind of control where the curves will end up in. And instead of using linear coefficients for the points, we instead use a basis called Bernstein polynomials, uh, which is where the name B poly comes from. So yeah, B poly means Bernstein polynomials, and it is kind of a complicated thing, but uh, for Bernstein polynomials in one sentence, it is basically a, a way to do weighted averaging of the points, where the points are emphasized sequentially from the beginning to the end, but the weights always sum up to one. So, so you can see how the uh, the curves, different curves, uh, correspond to how important the point is at 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 each place in the curve, and you can see that the peaks, uh, the peaks shift between the the points. You start with a uh, full full emphasis on the first point, and then you shift to the second point, third point, fourth point, and then the last point. Okay. So yeah, that's b the basic of what Bezier curve is, and to and then the the usage of it is actually not that complicated. So I have a small demo here. So you would just uh, import bpoly from interpolate, and numpy and matplotlib are useful in general. So I have my example here. Let's see if I can live code this. Okay. So first, you would, you would start by uh, uh, defining your control points. Uh, control points, in this case, I have only, I have four control points, so that would be it would be a cubic cubic base here, and then you can define the curve using just b poly, and then you just you just pass in the control points, and then you just have to do some weird weird stuff with it, and then you you pass in uh, the interval where you you want to say the points uh, the, the curve uh, spans in. So in this, in this case, I say that as the points go from the beginning to the end, it is from going from 0 to 1. And that's really it. That's, that's your basic curve right there. But then when you want to draw it out, you, you need to, need to uh, generate the, a bunch of numbers in between 0 and 1. So I do that using lin space. So this will generate out um, the 20 numbers in between 0 and 1, all the, all the decimals. And then I can. And then the points can be created by just calling the b poly object as a function and pass in the part <coughs> the number, and you would just get a list of of um, two dimensional points, just like that. So it, it's a really nice syntax, if you ask me. And then when we have that, we can just plot it out. Right, just like that. And if we also plot out the control points, you, you will see that uh, 
it would make sense. It would it would look just like a pen tool in Photoshop, like that. Cool. Oh. Okay. All right. Um. All right. That's all I have. We have 30 seconds left. So cool.